Yep, there it is. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm the Comic Foil, and we're at 92% of the Media Kings area, so you know what that means. Mr. President! What's wrong? Is it the billionaires again? You mean the one billionaire, the only one that's left? Hi. Yes, it's the Media King. He's ready to meet you on his turf. He's the last billionaire. If you defeat him, we can get Kamarocho back. Uh. You're right. This is the final battle. I'll take him down no matter what. I guess we're doing this today. I said I was gonna, like, make headway with the story, and we did that a little bit, but if we can do this, we can unfreeze our money, and then we'll have lots of money for building Kiryu. We're all rooting for you. Though there might be another leg to this five billionaire story after we defeat the Media King, something with the shadowy guy and Yamanoi's being shifty. The Media King's turf is in Shichi Fuku parking lot. It's going to be a it's going to be a rough fight. I should get ready before I go. Yeah, so all my assets are basically frozen until I deal with this dude. So let's deal with this dude. Uh where is this dude? Also, how's my health doing? Um yeah, my health is pretty bad, so let's eat some food and then deal with that dude. Nanny. And there he is. Are you guys ready to end this? This is the same place I practice boxing, dude. As far as I'm concerned, this is my turf. Ah, there you are, Mr. Kiryu. Uh. Yeah, and if it isn't the guy who got most of his turf taken by so-called idiots and pushovers, the media king. I told you not to call me that. And I also told you to stay out of my way, didn't I? You c can't be bothered to listen to a word I say. Mr. Kiryu, are you going senile? Or do you just not take me seriously? Hmm, let me think. I guess I just don't take you seriously. Touché. Fine then. I don't like fighting, but let's settle this. Uh. Sure, fine by me. I'll take you down and put an end to the five billionaires. I'll get Kamarojo back once and for all. I hear this fight is supposed to be very difficult. <laughs> ha! Well, you can try, at least. Do you know why I hate fighting? It's because it's utterly boring. No one can offer me any serious competition. I'll make you regret underestimating me, Mr. Kiyu. Or shall I say, Kazuma Kiyu? Uh, you can say that if you want. That 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 is my name. Okay. So, I've learned it works best if I try and take out his ads first. But they're not ads if he doesn't constantly respawn them, so I shouldn't call them ads. But, you know, his lower health minions. So, he is very fast. Also, he has a lot of health. He's got the, he's got the cyan health bar going there. Oh, doing grab kick combos with his buddies. I see you there. That would make him pretty scary if he had ads and, like, new men constantly came in. If they made it like the, uh, Okamura fight in Persona 5 where he, like, just keeps having more people come in. He, like, keeps throwing his money around to buy more support. Oh, counter grabs. Okay. You're actually doing a lot of damage to me, so let's, um... First of all, let me drink a Tatsu brand drink, because I have too many of them. Um, and a little health boost. Um, and this doesn't restore a lot of health, so we'll eat that too. Okay. Yeah. That's one of the problems is, like, I don't think Beast can really stomp people. Alright, we got him backwards. Okay, you're going fast, so I'm gonna go fast. He's got, like, a bunch of, like, after-image stuff going, though. Okay, you're very fast, but if I keep, like, just trading blows... I think we can, like, gank and spank our way through this. Uh, his finishers do a lot of damage, though. Okay, um... 
Okay, let's do another Tatsu, just because we have them. Alright. Full heat, guys. Let's do some crazy stuff here. Come on, I want to... I want to see some of this crazy stuff I've been buying. Yes. Oh! I thought you were dizzy. I thought you were going to get up and be dizzy. You had the dizzy sign. Oh, you do a lot of damage, though. Okay, my get-up attack worked. I remember buying that. Okay. Um... I admit, this fight is tough, and, um... I don't seem to have a lot of healing items left, so... Okay, I'm going with this for the counters. Because I could hopefully counter him out of some of his combos. Oh boy, this isn't going well, guys. Okay, you guys said, you guys said I wouldn't be able to button mash through this fight, and you're right, I can't. It's not going to do a lot of damage, because I've already done that move, but, you know, might as well do that move if I can. It's not so little damage that it's, like, not worth doing. Um... Oh, man. I'm going to go through all my vitamins and minerals doing this fight. Oh. Nice. Oh, I did the leg thing. I didn't know if I could pull it off. Okay, I'm trying to, like, do some mix-up and stuff, but he is too smart for me. He is way too smart for me. Yeah, none of his hits are, like, such drastically crazy damage that I can't handle it, but, like, each one is enough and he lands them consistently enough that it's pretty tough. Um, we'll go with a little health. A little health. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Okay. Uh, I said let me go. This suit's the only thing that survived my apartment fire. Don't... Don't mess it up. Watch the crimp. Ah. Uh, and the counter grab. I didn't have enough heat to pull that off. Let's get a Tatsu in there. So that hopefully we can get one of our good heat actions. Okay, we just need to chip him a little more. There we go, we got it. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Uh, GG, Media King. Well played. Good game, well played. <laughs> That's a wrap. It's finally over. Yeah. No. You're not done yet. What? We five billionaires are just puppets. There's another mastermind pulling our strings from behind the scenes. Nani? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you made it this far, Akiria san. Who are you? He's the one controlling the five billionaires backstage. The super billionaire. The finance king. The finance king. Nice to finally meet you, Kiryu-san. Mm -hmm. That said, 
I've actually been watching you all this time, so I feel like I already know you. What are you after? <laughs> what kind of question is that? I'm after one thing. Money. It's all about the money. Kamurocho is one of the most lucrative places in the world to leverage my capital. But thanks to a bunch of fools who cling to the old ways, properties in this town were protected for the sake of the poor souls who live here. A truly futile notion. And now, in this golden age of money games, simply idiotic. All anyone needs to do is make money. All anyone needs to do to make money is flip properties. It's a waste not to. So that's what I did. Perhaps my methods of securing the residents' cooperation may have inconvenienced them in the short term. Mm. But such is life. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. So it sounds like it also screwed them over in the long term. The rich eat while the poor starve. It's not my fault. You selfish bastard. <laughs> ah, yes. Your Yamanois protege, all right. You sound just like him back in the day. You know Yamanoi? Know him. He and I once worked together, hand in hand, at the same office. Although, we had a falling out when we disagreed over our business practices. <laughs> I'm ashamed to admit that in my ill-advised youth, there was a time when I had clung to the same notions as Yamanoi. I wanted heart. I worked hard for the happiness of the people who lived here, to make this city a better place. <sighs> but working behind the scenes like that got us nowhere. The people took it for granted. Nobody ever thanked us. On the contrary, they did nothing but complain. And of course, we didn't make any money. I got sick and tired of toiling away my days like that. So one day, I told Yamanoi we should stop wasting time and get involved in the money game, a system rumored to be generating unlimited profits. Luckily, we already had knowledge and experience from our business. We'd be able to run rings around greedy idiots looking to score a fast and easy fortune. But Yamanoi refused. I parted company with Yamanoi, who stuck to the old ways, and I entered into the world of the money game. From that day forward, I've emerged victorious time and time again, making an astonishing amount of money in the process. Using those funds, I loaned cash, invested capital, and got involved in finance. At some point, I began to notice that people were calling me the Finance King. Dude, your villainous backstory is really boring. I'm sorry, I just had to say. Go on. And just when I thought I was satisfied, I remembered something. I recalled a place from my past that would be ideal for making even more money. So that was Kamurocho. Hey. Yes, thanks in part to Yamanoi, this city was still largely untouched by the money game. It was just waiting for me, right for the picking. This city is the largest entertainment district in the East. You can't make a dent in it without a truly sizable war chest, and the Yakuza presence doesn't make it any easier. I had the funds, but I never thought I would be able to effectively control this city by myself. That's why I put together the five billionaires. I sought those who had capital and experience in the five major industries of this town. Leisure, electronics, pleasure, gambling, and media. Only the Avatar could control all five elements. Um, then I put them in charge. By doing so, I figured I would be able to rule over the otherwise confusing mess of businesses within the city. <laughs> I managed to get all five aboard simply by flashing some cash in front of them. At once their palm, um, and once their palms were greased, they had no qualms about getting their hands even dirtier. Thanks to them, I was able to take control over Kamurocho with relative ease. That is until you came along. There were two things I hadn't planned for. First, Yamanoi had been despondent and on the verge of leaving his work. Therefore, I never expected him to stick around this long. And secondly, I couldn't foresee someone like you coming in and partnering with Yamanoi. Thanks to you, my organization is now in shambles. For now, I will throw that aside and start something new. Nani. Something new? 
pay. You defeated all five billionaires and merged a wide range of properties together into one portfolio. So if I take that off your hands, I can take back control of everything with minimal effort. Sure. Kill me and take everything. If that's your big plan, you've already failed. I won't go down to the likes of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Well, even if you don't die, I still have an ace up my sleeve. Either way, all your properties will soon become mine. Well then, I think I'll get going now. Finance King, wait! It's the end of the line for you, too. Disappear with Kiryu. But, but to be frank, I knew there would come a time when I'd need to get rid of you five. You wouldn't be happy as pawns forever. I suppose I should thank Kiryu-kun for making it so easy. Then you intend to get rid of us from then you intended to get rid of us from the start. But of course, thanks for everything. And now, farewell, Media King. <laughs> yeah, here's two guys. Looks like you worked for the worst boss in the world. Guess so. Are you... I'll help you out, Mr. Kiryu. It would be totally uncool to die like this, after all. Heh. <laughs> That's great. Let's crush these guys. Shall we dance? Oh, they're getting up too. Oh no, they're running. Okay. Let's get this party started! Yeah. Finance King, you needed to get way more people involved in this if you were gonna... Oh, they're actually kind of dodgy, though. Okay. No, he's down. He's not staying down, but... He's down right now. Oh! Yeah, that is new. Okay, so Matsuo and Nagai... Um, definitely have some health to work with. Um, I'll take a little health. L l little health. I just, I just need to get through this fight so that I can, like, go to the store and buy more medicine. Yeah, do this. Move again. Alright. And that just leaves you. Nice. I am actually really glad I have Media King here for this, because this might have <laughs> this might have ended badly without him. I was pretty low on items. Ah. Whew. Dios mio. Is that all of them? Uh. Yeah. Thanks for your help. That was nothing. I've caused you a lot more trouble than I've fixed, Mr. Kiryu. My sin... Excuse me. My sincerest apologies. <laughs> ha! I never thought I'd get screwed over this easily. I thought I was quicker on my feet than that. But now that I've been cut loose, I'm no longer a member of the Five Billionaires. To make things up to you, I'll lend you a hand where I can. Alright. Got an advisor. Mm. That reminds me. The Finance King said he had an ace up his sleeve. Uh. That's right. I wonder. Uh, no. We have a problem. What's going on? Uh. Our office. There's big trouble. Please, just come back to the office. Alright, got it. Uh, blocks have been unlocked for B-Style. Yay! Uh, new items have been opened on the ability screen. And we defeated the Media King. And now I... Really, really, really need to resupply and heal. Nanny. All right, so before we go in here and see what that's all about, um, I just bought a bunch of sushi sets, and uh, how about we spend a little bit more of this money on brawler style this time? Okay, so is Beast all unlocked? Yeah. So now it's just a matter of getting money to completely fill these in and then doing it again for... Uh, for Majima, but, um... Okay, Torta Spirit successfully guarding against attacks will cause the key gauge to rise. Only as far as the second bar. Um, uh, boost the damage of your counterattacks while in heat mode. That's pretty nice. 
uh, when your first attack after the start of battle sends an enemy flying, the heat gauge will fail to the third bar. Neat. Um, double finishing blow. Throw a full force straight right punch, then unleash a brutal flying kick. That's four X's and Y, then Y again with the third heat bar. Okay. Kick combo. Uh, pressure the enemy with a combo, with a powerful combo attack. This uses up the heat gauge. Why then why why? Okay, and that leaves me with just 8 million left. Yeah, really, money's flying around fast now, guys. Where's Yamanoi? He's... he's disappeared. Daddy. What? That's not all. All the property contracts and the other important documents that Yamanoi-san managed are gone, too. Someone stole them? No, that's impossible. They were kept under lock and key in a safe, so no one other than Yamanoi-san had access to them. The only thing I can think of is that Yamanoi-san took them. Why would he do that? Why? Oh boy, it's everybody. What What did you sound like, Leisure King? Were you like, if you're looking for Yamanoi... He's with the Finance King. The Finance King? Oh. Yeah. My boys saw him heading to the Finance King's place. It's called the Billionaire's Room. They said he was carrying a bunch of documents. Why would Yamanoi-san do such a thing? Knowing the Finance King, he probably bought out Yamanoi with a truckload of money. Seriously? Oh. Yep. Now that the five billionaires have collapsed, the only place left that controls property rights across Kamurocho is right here. The Yamanoi Agency. <laughs> I like how that's the... The lesson here is monopolies are bad no matter what, even if... Even if a good person owns them. <laughs> buy, this pl buy this place out and you've got Kamurocho. But how could Yamanoi-san be bought out? That doesn't sound like him at all. Yeah. I don't know. But the Finance King's financial resources are extraordinary. With the amount of money he could offer, even an honest man might be swayed to the dark side. Oh. Hey, listen. We got bad news, Kiryu. Mm -hmm. What's going on? The Finance King's minions are attacking your properties all over town. Mm -hmm. What? This is what happens when the Finance King comes after you. If the property deeds are gone and our businesses are ruined by a bunch of thugs, there's nothing we can do. Game over! Then what are we going to do? you san you'll need to go directly to the Finance King. There's no other way. Please stop Yamanoi-san before he hands over the deeds to the Finance King. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. We'll figure out a way to keep his thugs under control for now. We'll hold off any more property damage, so you go and deal with him. But we owe you, man. Let us pay you back. <laughs> Besides, we were his accomplices. This is a good chance for us to make amends for what we did. The Finance King should be at the Billionaire's Room. The Pleasure King has a car ready for you. It'll be waiting at the Tenkaichi Street entrance. Got it. Until I get back, I'm leaving this office and this town in your guys' hands. Got it, they all said. Where's Pleasure King? I mean, I get that we just talked to the Media King, so maybe they didn't, like, want to reuse him right away, but come on, Pletcher King. Uh, the Finance King and Yamanoi are at, at the Billionaire's Room. Pleasure King's got a car ready. Oh, there's Pleasure King. Got a car ready. I'd better head to the Tenkaichi Street entrance. Okay, so that's the one... I got stuck for a second. Uh, that's the one south from here. Yes. I mean, I just spent a lot of money, and now that I can't make more money from my businesses until I do this, I really, I really do need to do this now. Hey, Pleasure King. There you are, Kiryu-chan. I've got a car ready for you. Are you ready to go settle things once and for all? Uh. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Mm. Are you sure you want to go solo? I could come as an escort, you know. Yeah. No, I'm fine. I need you to help the others protect our properties and the people in them from the Finance King's henchmen. Who knows what else he'll try when Yamanoi and I are gone. For you, I'll do anything. Remember, though, the Finance King is a cold, cruel man. 
You just watch yourself, honey. I'll give you a nice hot kiss when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You really don't have to do that, though. I mean, but you can if you want, you know. I mean, Kiryu, Kiryu tries anything. Yamanoi-san. Kiryu-san. So you've come after all, Kazuma Kiryu. Hmm? Those papers. Hey. These are the deeds to all the properties you fought so hard to collect. Without them, all of your efforts up until now are meaningless. I had my dear friend Yamanoi bring them to me. I merely offered an appropriate sum of money, and he readily agreed. Even the man who brought you into this business, with his inspirational words about saving the town and its people, is now doing my bidding for cold hard cash. It really is all about the money, Kiryu-san. There's nothing you can trust more than money. And there's nothing more useful than money. Surely you understand that by now. Yabinoi, don't hand that over to him. You told me you didn't want Kamurocho ruined by money games. Was that all a lie? Say something, Yamanoi. <laughs> There's nothing you can say or do. I'm busy taking over Kamurocho. Would you mind not wasting any more of my time? Boys. <laughs> Kiryu-kun. Thick-headed peasants like you need to have an understanding of the world beaten into them. These men are the best that money can buy. So, what do you think? Any kind of power simply boils down to finances. Prepared... Prepared to be crushed by... I mean, I guess you couldn't afford somebody to edit that line. Prepared to be crushed under the weight of overwhelming financial power, Kazuma Kiryu. Alright, I'm prepared. Oh, I destroyed the marble table. Okay, so I don't think I want... As, as long as I have furniture, I'll be okay. This this furniture is not gonna... Oh, this is these are the same guys. It's uh, Matsuo and Nagai. That's pretty cool that they brought these two back. They're the same henchmen. I, I guess they really... I mean, they are pretty good. For, for like, normie henchmen, these guys are pretty tough. I got to agree. I wish I could pick up that lamp. I feel like that lamp would make a great weapon. Okay, I'm almost out of health, so let's... Ooh, got a dropkick coming in. Let's eat some sushi. Oh, okay. That that was kind of awkward, all right. Jeez, dude. Yeah, I'm at the point now where I think I need to, like, learn patterns to be able to beat guys. Um... Okay, here's some more chairs I can use. Never mind. I don't, I don't need patterns. I have chairs. Oh, I was not in beast style. My bad. <laughs> this is the most powerful chair money can buy, Kiryu. <laughs> Eat 30 food items? Have I really not eaten that many food items already? Um... Okay, get up. Just get over to the chairs. The chairs will set you free. You cannot stand up against this ergonomic design. Okay, put him up against the wall. This should finish you off. Oh, not quite. Man, you are tanky. Laying on the floor like a door, Matsuo. Kiryu-san! Well, well. 
Not too shabby, Kiryu-kun. <sighs> but it's too late. It's too little too late. All right, Yamanoi. Hand over the rest of the documents. I didn't think I'd ever want to see your face again. But then again, I never thought that we'd be able to come to an agreement like this. And now, Kamurocho will be mine. I can use the city to make billions upon billions. Trillions, even. Maybe even <laughs> gazillions. <laughs> Life is good, isn't that right, Yamanoi? Are you sure about that? Huh? A gun? <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. I wouldn't have been able to get close to you unless I said I'd hand over the deeds. Y Yamanoi, you're double-crossing me? As your former business partner, I can't allow you to keep doing this. I love this city. So I'll put an end to you myself. There are some things money can't buy, like a human life. I'll prove that to you right now. Wait. Let's talk this out. I'll give you as much money as you want. Just don't kill me. Like I said, not everybody can be bought. Th then, I'll turn myself in. I'll own up to all the crimes I've committed. There, isn't that enough for you? You know, I just don't believe you. Let's finish this. No, no, don't do this. This is the end. Stop! Marina. Yamanoi san, I understand how you feel. What, what did she just hand him? Uh, but if you do this, you'll be no better than the Finance King. No, you'll, you'll still be better than the Finance King. Besides, I can't allow you to throw away your life for this. Marina, what are you going to do? What's going on? Oh, she took the gun from him. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you until now. I, I'm actually a detective with the police. <laughs> That's awesome. What? The hell? This dirty money game that's had Kamurocho in its grasp, I went undercover as Yamanoi -san's, at Yamanoi-san's place to discover who was behind it all. I thought I'd find the mastermind responsible for the money game sooner or later if I worked there. The police had learned about the money game from countless victims of strong-arm tactics and violence. But an open investigation would only result in the mastermind ditching his henchmen and disappearing. That's why I've been working undercover. Well now... That totally makes sense. No wonder you were such an able secretary. We're going to perform a thorough search of this building now. I expect we'll find ample evidence of the Finance King's illegal activities. So, you don't have to kill him. We'll make sure he pays for his crimes. The right way. B but You're finished, Finance King. <clears throat> Damn it. I was so close. If only I could make it to my rocket ship. The best rocket ship money could buy. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you, Mr. President, and thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> You're one hell of an actress. You sure had me fooled. Now, there's still plenty of work to be done cleaning up Kamurocho after these criminals are gone. Let's go back, Yamanoi-san, and Mr. President. Uh. Right. Let's go, Yamanoi-san. But, like, let's make sure this guy's, like, cuffed and in a police car first, maybe? And that, like, he hasn't paid off a million people in the police? Yes. D don't leave the room with him and a gun. You morons. I'm not going down like this. Never! The money I made is mine! Nobody can take it from me! The police? Who cares? Screw the rules, I have money! Oh my god, he said it! He said it! All of you, and the cops. I'll kill everyone and take everything. I'll still become a trillionaire. The... Screw the rules, I have money. Did... Is this where Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged got it? Or did this get it from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged? What, what is going on? Is that just a coincidence? You. This guy's beyond saving. Both of you, stand back. What the hell's wrong with you? I've got a gun! If you think you can stop me with a toy like that, you've got another thing coming. You'll pay for your crime soon enough, but before that, you need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Kiryu, I really can't stand you, you know that. I'm not letting you stop me. 
Now die! Yeah, Marina, um, you're fired for letting this guy get his hands on a gun. Okay. We're sticking beast style. Oh, I'm hitting him with the table. I'm hitting him with the marble table. Yes, 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 yes. Yes to all of that. Oh, man, I wish there was a kitchen sink in here so I could hit you with everything and the kitchen sink. Yeah, let's let let's make this one a complete uh what, what what do they call it? A scrum match? Oh man, that's solid marble. It went right through him, dude. Oh man, what's going on? Oh crap! What? Did I just learn a new combat style? What is... Excuse me? Wait, 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 hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, hey, it's Kukichi. Thanks for defending my properties, Kukichi. Attempted murder, obstruction of justice, and many other charges backed up by evidence seized from the billionaire's room. The, fi the finance king is going away for a long time. So it's all over. Yeah, except that he probably, like, has a bunch of judges in his pocket because he has so much gosh darn money. What's the matter? You don't seem happy. Yeah. No. He and I once worked together toward the same ideals, after all. If I had only been firm back then and stopped him, we might have avoided all of this. I might have even saved him. When I think of that, I can't bear it. Money is a terrifying thing. It has the power to corrupt, to change people. True. Money does have the power to change people. But I think it all depends on the person who uses it. What? If money has the power to corrupt people, it should also have the power to change people for the better. That, that's not true. Not everything that can corrupt people can also say that. Like, is that true about, like, about, like, heroin? Like, what do you... <laughs> Here you. Depending on how money is used, it can improve a city and the lives of the people who live in it. Those who have money need to figure out the best way to do that. It comes with responsibility. You're right. We need to think about how to best use the money we have now so that this city and its citizens can shine even brighter. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> thanks, thanks to your help, the Finance King is under arrest. As for the other billionaires who worked for him, their actions were in large part due to his manipulative orders, so their sentences should be relatively light. A lot of work remains to return Kamurocho ba back to what it was before, and we really can't do it without their help. So instead of being arrested, They'll work at our office. They'll be under vi my supervision throughout their probation. Besides, all of them have shown remorse for what they uh, did. I see. Thanks for arranging that. Oh, don't mention it. What's important is the future. True that. But once this city is revitalized, someone else might emerge to try and finish what the Finance King started. That's true. People will always be drawn to the power of money. But still... I'm sure Kamurocho will be okay. Why do you say that? Because you're here, President Kiryu. <laughs> <laughs> you give me too much credit. Besides, who knows where I might end up. I might end up running a, uh, or orphanage. I guess so. But I still get the feeling that no matter what happens, your path will take you back here. <laughs> is that what you've deduced, Detective? <laughs> yep, it sure is. I have, to, I have to supervise the billionaires as well as watch over Kamurocho. Would it be alright if I remain at the office? Hi. Of course. I look forward to continuing to work with you, Marina-san. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Alright, everyone's waiting for us back at the office. Let's go home. Uh. Yeah. Let's continue to make billions of dollars and putting towards making me into a Super Saiyan. Uh, unlock the legendary fighting style Dragon of Dojima? 
Press Y on the pause menu's top screen to switch to the Dragon of Dojima style Cosmic Kiryu's ultimate move set. Oh my goodness. All right, it's almost time to open for business today, Kiryu-san. Would you say a few words? Uh, right. I'm not really used to this sort of thing. Now, now. Everyone's waiting for you. Mm. Uh, okay. You got Kamurocho back from the Finance King. What's more important is where we go from here, even though some of you are literally murderers and sex traffickers. We've got to restore Kamurocho, repair the damage done to it, and make it even better for everyone who lives here. Just like Yamanoi-san, I love this city. I want to help make it a better place. Fortunately for us, we have the real estate and the financial resources to make that happen. But I'll need your help to do it. Let's do this together. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get to work. Okay, we have a client coming in to see us now, so I'll show them in. It's an important client, so please look uh, your best. Got it. <laughs> and he's got the glasses on. My name is Kiryu. How can we help you today? Very nice. We built this city. Cool. <laughs> so as long as we can trust billionaires to be ethical with the money they make, everything's going to be okay. Um, let's make some more billions then. We, uh... Yeah, that's, that's the end of the real estate tycoon story. Um, I like that Marina turned out to be... A detective again turned out to be undercover. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how well it checks out, but I mean, I always like a character turning out to be more competent than they really are as long as it makes sense. And like, I think it makes sense. I don't need to pay you guys anymore because I'm uncontested in the area. I just want to eventually get these things up to their top value so that I can make the most money possible and we can put it back into the main story. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you guys and I will get back to the main story next time unless something stupid happens or we end up with Majima and I feel like I need to um, like do the cabaret story some more. Uh, this Let's Play it's gonna be so long, guys. Uh, I can't believe we're all, we're already like episode seventy-two. And this one will be for Mama-san. I love having the chicken for an advisor, but like it's useless to us now. But oh well. Yeah, that's worth half a billion yen already. Um, and soon I'll have all of this just completely maxed out. Uh, what is... Okay, so I can change to Legend Style from here. Which is pretty awesome. Um, abilities... Okay, and there's a whole Dragon of Dojima skill. Why, why is stuff locked? Oh no, why is stuff locked? Um, provides you with strength... Okay, let's start spending money on this. Uh, Ultra Heat Wave provides you with strength beyond your normal limits. This ability is only within reach of those who seek the pinnacle of power. Uh, strength beyond limits, sure. Um, ultra Health Boost. Okay. Okay, so I think these are just like raw stack buffs, maybe? Um, ultra Attack Boost provides you with strength beyond your normal limits. The ability is only within reach... Okay, wait, this is attack, and this is, and that's heat, okay. This is for heat attacks, this is for regular attacks. So let's buy these boosts and call it a day. Wow, yeah, it, it really did just hand us, like, a bunch more things to spend money on, didn't it? Um... Yeah, it's just all raw stat boosts that apply to all of your different styles. So I'm going to be crazy strong now. I'm just going to be, like, so, like, passively stronger. 
Okay, let's uh, buy these few health boosts, and then that's all the money I'll be I'll be able to spend. Oh, whoops, no, I miscalculated. Those are two thousand. Silly me. Okay, well, thank you very much, guys. I'm the Comic Foil, and um, yeah, I very well could be a trillionaire by the end of this playthrough, but it's okay because I I love this city.